Moving on to the next case. It's a case called Novalia. Novalia is a very interesting case in that um, the individual involved in it had a PhD in music um, and actually filed a patent for it. However, in the case itself, what happened was the, uh, the CRA took the position that um, uh, they really wasn't qualified in the field of science or technology to do the work in question that, that he was claiming. So if we take a quick look at some of the case itself, we can see a couple of things. That the, that the client basically had developed a, a aimed to develop wind tournament and had looked at several patents. Um, they develop an actual mechanism with pulleys and, and blades to, to um, test out the concepts, but the CRA didn't feel that that was uh, scientific or that the um, appellant himself um, had, had an accurate knowledge, let's say, of, of the uh, field of science in question. Okay. Um, they basically said that Mr. Hain uh, refused, Mr. Hain being the CRA reviewer, considered previous machines or wind turbines constructed. Um, so the argument was that, that the claimant didn't have enough knowledge of the previous turbine or the technologies, um, whereas the claimant thought that the drive wheels and belts provide a basis for the advancement, that the uh, increased rotation speed um, combined with the belts at play and similar roles in connecting the rods and pistons to counter the cylinder and the turbine engine created the area of uncertainty and the advancement. Um, effectively, what happened here at, at the end of the day is the judge put a lot of weight on the CRA scientist. He said, and quote, it is important to reiterate here that the appellant's research project has been examined by three CRA scientists, one of whom is considered an expert. And Mr. Boudouin has many opportunities to explain his point of view and convince him the activities met the requirements of the act. According to the serious scientists, the appellant's research never reached the SRD stage because it simply involves concept illustrated by drawings demonstrated using extremely rudiments, at least in 2011. Uh, they then talk about the uh, precedence of, of Judge Bowman in the Northwest Hydraulics case and saying that there was no clear advancement, no, no clear hypothesis, or no systematic investigation. Okay, so what I'd like to do very quickly is to look at um, the actual patent for Novalia here. So if we look at the uh, company itself, we can upload supporting documentation and take a look at what was what was uh, the issue um, in question. And what's interesting is that we can have uh, Mr. Baudouin and his patent right here to look at it and see, you know, what is it that he's done uh, in there um, to go through the the document itself. Um, and if we go to Google Patents, we can actually download the the drawings and, and, and diagrams. But we can also see what other sightings were, um, were provided there. Okay. So one of the things that it looks at is it provides details of, of uh, state of the art from the patent uh, disclosure itself, as well as designs on that. Let me do uh, one more. Uh, quick patent search because there's a more complete um, listing of that. Okay, so the question at the end of the day on the uh, Novalia would be why did um, an individual who had a PhD in, in music uh, become unqualified? 
is music a social science or a humanity, which is probably the position of the CRA. Um, but I might also take a step back and say that in this case, um, someone with a PhD in, in music might, might have a, a strong understanding of wave patterns or, or things of that nature. And uh, very often I find those people are very mathematically inclined as well. So it would make sense to me that they would actually have the standard practice to perhaps do research um, in that field of science.